In this video, I will show three ways how to set up and use the free routing auto router plugin with KiCat 7. I will use the DigiSpark USB circuit as an example to show you how it works. So you heard that auto routed PCBs are bad? Well, even if you do not optimize anything, it is still better than this. You will need to have KiCat 6 or 7 installed on your computer. I will leave a KiCat tutorial link in the description. I will show you three ways to set up free routing in KiCat 7. First, via the KiCat plugin manager. Second, by installing it via a zip file. And the third way is to use it offline via DSN file export. Finally, I will give you some tips how to get the best results with the auto router. The first method is the easiest, using the KiCat plugin manager. But before we install the auto router in KiCat, we need to install the Java runtime environment. For this, you open your search engine and you search for download GRE 17 Timurin. Open the website. I will leave a link in the description. Then here you select your operating system. For me that's Windows. Architecture is x64. I want to have the GRE, the runtime environment, version 17. And I download the MSI installation file. When the download is complete, open the file, double click to install. Finish. And now we can go to KiCat. Click on the plug-in and content manager. And here search for free routing and click on install. Click on apply pending changes. Click on close. And free routing has been installed. Close. Now open an unfinished PCB layout. Here you see all the components are placed and the lines here, the red lines indicate the connections. Now you go to Tools, External Plugins, and here you see the free routing plugin. Click here, and the PCB layout started. So the PCB layout is finished, certainly much faster than I can do it. If you do not like this result, you go to Edit. Global Deletions, Tracks and Vias, and click OK. Yes. Now all the tracks have been removed. If the first method did not work, you can install the free router plugin via a zip file. Open the search engine and search for free routing, GitHub. Open the link, go to Integrations, KiCat. I will leave a link in the description. Then download the latest version. In this case, 171 from last month. Download. The download is completed. Now open KiCat, go to the Plugin and Content Manager and click install from file. Go to downloads and open the zip file you just downloaded. And click close. Now we can open the PCB, tools, external plugin and free routing is installed. And you can use it just like I showed before. Click here and the layout will start. You can also use free routing offline. This works for any PCB layout software that can export DSN files. For this, search for free routing GitHub releases. Open the website. 
and download the package that you need for your operating system. I will download the Windows version. Keep. Double click the MSI file. And click install. And here in the start menu, you can see free routing has been installed. Start the application. And start KiCat. Now open your PCB file. And go to File, Export, Spectra DSN. I will export it to the desktop. File has been exported. Now in free router I will select the design file. Select desktop and it's this DSN file. Open. And click on auto router. And the routing has started. Now click file. Export session file. Yes. And here you see two new files have been created. Now open KiCat again. Say file import spectra session. Go to the desktop and click on this SES file. Open. And you see the layout has been imported. So an auto-routed PCB may be better than a breadboard, but obviously it's far from perfect. So how to use the auto-router wisely? Well, let me give you some basic tips. First tip, component placement. PCB design is 90% placement and 10% routing. The schematic normally is a good starting point for placement. You can first arrange the components on the PCB as placed in the schematic and then rotate and move to reduce the overlapping red lines. You can manually lay out critical tracks. Let me show you what I mean. For instance, the ground track is critical. I do not want to have any vias there and it should be a little wider. Now let me first just lay out the ground track manually. Now the ground track is there. We select the ground track with the right mouse, select, select all tracks in net, then again right mouse or you press E, click on properties, and you change the track width to for instance 0.6 mm. Okay, and you see the ground track is much wider now. Now we let the auto router do the rest of the work. So now you have your layout. The ground track does not have any vias and is wider than the other tracks. Then a third tip. You can set PCB design rules for the auto router in the board setup. Let me show you how that works. In the PCB layout editor go to File, Board Setup and select Net Classes. Here you see the default net classes. The auto router will use these rules to do the layout. You can change this to for instance 0.3 and also the track width to 0.3 then click OK. You can also define specific net classes. To do this you have to go to the schematic and add a net class directive label. Let's call this one ground. You can give it any name. OK. Then save the schematic. You go again to the layout. Update the PCB from the schematic. Close. Save. Now you go again to board setup. Net classes. And you add one. You call it ground. The clearance we keep 0.3. But the track width we make 0.6 millimeter. Okay, now the ground track will be by default 0.6 mm. You can see if you lay out this yourself, it's already quite wide. But also, if you now use the auto router, 
it will automatically use a wider track for ground. So here you see for ground it uses a 0.6 millimeter track and the other tracks are now all 0.3 millimeter. Of course, you can always optimize the layout by hand after the outer router is finished. For instance, this looks very strange. Change this track, make it a little higher. And like this, you can check the whole layout and optimize where it's needed. I hope you liked the video. If it was useful for you, please like and subscribe. And let me know your experience in the comments.